Hi everyone, my name is Ajit and I'm with the San Jose Public Library and welcome to video number 4 of our guitar tutorial series. In this video, we'll be going over the basics of chords, what they are, different types of them, and I'll even teach you how to play some of them. So let's get into it. Okay, so what are chords? Chords are basically just three or more notes played simultaneously. So for example, this, this would be a chord. And this is a chord because I'm playing three or more notes at the same time. Okay, so first of all, there's going to be uh, different types of a chord, but the most major ones you're going to be using are a major chord or a minor chord. Those are the two main types you're going to be using. So basically, a major chord and a minor chord have slight differences in how you play them and slight differences in how they sound. So I'll give you an example right here. So right here, this is an E major chord. This is an E major. And right here is an E minor. As you can see, they sound a bit differently, and they're also played a bit different. In the E major chord, I had my first finger on the third string first fret, but in the E minor, I didn't use my first finger at all. So that's a slight difference between a major and a minor chord, and um, it's, it's just a slight difference, not too much, but it still makes a difference when you're playing songs. Okay, now moving on to what open chords and bar chords are. So those are also two main types of chords you're gonna be using. There's also different uh, styles of playing the chords like power chords and whatnot, but the two main ones you're gonna be using are the open chords down here and bar chords like this. So what are open chords? Open chords are basically chords that include open strings played in between them. So in the E major chord that I just played, this is an open chord because I am playing open strings with them. So, I'm playing the low E string as an open string, I'm playing the B string, and I'm playing the high E string. I'm not fretting any of them, I'm just playing them um, as open strings included with the three fret strings that I'm playing right here. And these open chords are most uh, usually played between the first and the fourth fret, and yeah. And now let's move on to bar chords. So bar chords are a bit complicated and they're a bit hard, but once you practice and once you get them down, they'll be really useful. So playing a bar chord of a major chord and a bar chord of a minor chord are just slightly different. And I'll show some tabs up on screen uh, so you can see them. So, but basically in a bar chord, you're essentially taking your finger and barring it over an entire fret like this. So here's an example of a bar chord. This is an A major chord. As you can see, my first finger is barred, so I'm pretty much pressing all six frets, um, all six, uh, all frets on all six strings in the fifth fret like this. So I'm just pressing down on all six of the strings like this. And I'm having like an A minor chord shape next to it like this. Um, I'll explain that in detail later. Um, and then, so basically, you can play a bar chord anywhere up on the sixth string like this. So. For example, this is a G note right here. So if I was to bar my entire finger over this and play uh, the minor position, I mean the major position, this would be a G major. And if I was to place, and if this is enough, if I was to place my finger on the fifth fret, since this is an A note, uh, the fifth uh, fret on the sixth string is an A. If I was to bar the entire A fret, and I'm um, in, in the entire fifth fret on the sixth string and play the minor, the major position, this would be an A major chord. Um, so those major and minor positions might seem a bit confusing to you, so let me explain it right now. So basically, in the minor position, you're gonna be playing kind of like an E minor shape. So if you don't, want, if you don't know what the E minor chord is, basically it's just the fifth fret, second, uh, I mean the fifth, the fifth string, second fret, and the fourth string, second fret. Um, you play the fifth string with your uh, middle finger, and you play the fourth string with your ring finger. So it will be like this, just these two notes, and then you strum all six strings. That's an um, uh, E minor chord. And then for the E major chord, you're just adding your first finger on the third fret. I mean the third string, first fret, like this. So this is the E major shape. And this is the E minor shape. Just keep those two in mind. Now, when you're going to a bar chord and you're trying to play in a major part of a chord, you take that same um, E major shape 
and put it next to your bar. And which, which fret do you bar, you may ask? You bar the fret that includes the root note of your chord. So for example, if I'm trying to play an A major chord, I'll first find the root note on the sixth string. This is a root note because this is an A. And then I'll take my finger and I'll bar it over the entire uh, fifth fret like this. And then I'll take my E major shape and just plop it right next to there. Like you can see my three fingers over here, it's kind of like an E minor shape. I just plop it right there. And for the E mi uh, and for the uh, to play a minor chord, if I want to play an A minor, I just do the exact same thing except I'll use the E minor shape from here. So instead of using my middle finger over here, I just put it like this. Um, like this. I wouldn't use my middle finger because I'm just using the E minor shape after that. And then I could play the A minor chord like this. And like that. So you could pretty much play any chord um, that's on the six. Uh, so you could play any chord with the bar chords. There's no like certain A like shape like this or like this or like this for chords down here. Um, uh, you can play it up here. Like if I wanted to play uh, like let's say a B chord on up here, a B bar chord. So I'd first look for the B root note on the sixth string. Uh, so E, F, G, A, B. So this would be the B note, right? So now I could just bar this entire fret like this, and then I could put my major or minor shape. So I'm gonna put my major shape because I wanna play a B major. And there we go. And yeah, those are the basics of bar chords and open chords. So now let's learn how to play some simple open chords that are going to be really useful for you. So um, first we're going to have the C major that I showed earlier, but I'll show it again. So this is a C major chord. It sounds like this. And basically uh, to play it, you're going to have to put your third finger on the, uh, the fifth string third fret like this. Your middle finger on the fourth string second fret like this your first finger on the uh the second string first fret like this and then you're gonna strum all only five the uh five strings you're not gonna strum the low e string you're only gonna strum uh starting from the a and down so like this like that and now our next chord is gonna be the um the E major chord. I already showed this to you, so um, I think you got it, but I'll show it again. So you're gonna take your middle finger, put it on the second, uh, I mean the fifth string, second fret. You take your third finger, put it on the fourth string, second fret, and then take your uh, index finger and put it on the third string, first fret, and, those, and then you're gonna strum all the strings, not just five, all six of them like this. And then now we have the D, the D major, right here. So for the D major, you're gonna put your index finger on the third string second fret, your middle finger on the first string second fret, and your third finger on the second string third fret. And this time, you're only gonna strum four strings, starting from the D string and down, so. So you might, uh, so as you can see, you're gonna strum a different amount of strings based on the chord. Um, and when you learn the chords, you'll, you'll know which uh, strings to strum. And now going back to our bar chords, let's, let's see if we can play the, the chords that I just taught you as a bar chord. So here's the C major that we just played. Now to play this as a bar chord, first we have to find the root the C root on the sixth string. Let's see, E, F, G, A, B, C. So this is our root right here, the C. So we're gonna bar our entire finger over the C, and then we're gonna play our major shape like this. Remember the major shape, it's like the E major. Uh, you're gonna play the shape next to the bar, and then. As you can see, they sound the same. You're just playing this one in a different way. And how about the D major that we just played? We're gonna find the root again. So E, F, G, A, B, C. So this is the D root. And we're gonna play our major, we're gonna bar the D. Uh, so we're gonna bar the 10th uh, fret. And then we're gonna put our major shape and then. Like that. 
is that simple. So those are the basic supports and yeah. Uh, so that about wraps it up for today's video. We learned about what chords are, different types of them, and even how to play some of them. Uh, so I hope this video helped you, and maybe if it didn't, maybe your future ones will. So make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.